Hey everyone, William Fletcher here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start an online business in 2020 and earn a full-time income online. And the best part, guys, is I'm gonna show you how to do it without spending a bunch of money on advertisements, really any money on advertisements, or without years of experience or being an expert. So let me ask you, how would it feel to earn a full-time income online? And how would it change your life to never have to work a nine to five job again? And what if if you could build a business about something that you're actually truly passionate about and get excited to wake up and work on every day. Well, if that sounds exciting to you, you're gonna wanna watch this entire video because I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. And I'm gonna show you how to start an online business even if you're a complete beginner. Now, if you've also been around starting an online business for a little bit, but you never actually made it there and you're, you're still working trying to figure it out, this video is gonna be for you too. Now, if this is your first time here, you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe to our channel because every single week I'm uploading videos just like this so let's dive in today I'm going to show you the number one thing that you absolutely must master to start and build an online business I'm going to show you the exact steps that I would personally take if I was starting an online business from scratch I'm going to show you how to choose a proven niche for your online business and how to have a fully functional online business that is earning money in just three short months so with that guys let's just dive right into it so you know let me start out by saying have you ever started an online business or tried to start an online business and you got stuck somewhere along the way whether that was choosing a niche or you got to a certain step and you got hung up on something technical like putting your squeeze page together or you know you wanted to create that product and launch it but you couldn't figure out what was the best idea for that course whatever it is have you ever felt like that and got really frustrated and got stuck and wasn't able able to start. Well, let me tell you this, guys. The truth is every single one of us who have started a successful online business have been through that too. We've all experienced that fear, that lack of technical ability or whatever it may be to get started and keep going. Or we've all seen someone that seems way smarter or way further along the line than us and it just kind of makes us feel intimidated like we're not good enough to do this well guys I felt the same way in fact when I first got started I started to feel inadequate like I couldn't live up to what these other guys are doing and guys there's a difference between someone that's successful in the online world and someone that is not and those who are successful have all felt that same intimidation or felt inadequate just like you may right now but the difference between those of us who are successful and those who are not is that they kept going. Those that are successful kept going even when they felt inadequate. Even when they felt that there was someone 10 times or 100 times better than them out there doing what they're trying to do. Even when they hit a technical snag that set them back for two weeks or lost that video recording that they spent an hour getting just right. Even when they couldn't get their website to work right or get their autoresponder to work right. Guys, they found a way to keep going even though the struggles came along. And guys, let me assure you, as you continue to build an online business, there will always be struggles. There will always be hurdles, but you got to be willing to dig deep and overcome them. Now, recently, I started reading this book called Pound the Stone, and there's a lot to this book, but the big idea is that, you know, someone that is trying to break a stone, right? They hit it over and over with a hammer. Boom, boom, boom. Hit it over and over again, a hundred times. And you look at that rock and there is nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it after a hundred hits. But on that hundred and first hit, all of a sudden that stone cracks. But guys, it wasn't about that a hundred and first hit. The reason that stone broke was the hundred hits before it, right? Because they continued to pound that stone. Business is the same way, guys. A lot of the steps that you take right now won't seem like they're adding up to much, but all of a sudden when you start making money and that money starts coming in, it's like, yeah, all those little things I did along the way paid off, right? That's why so many people quit. They're not willing to continue to pound the stone when things get tough or when it seems like they're not making Making any money so I want you to approach this entire online business idea with that mindset so now let's dive into the steps that's kind of the mindset and the reality that I want you to have as you approach this because it's so important but let's dive into the detailed steps and guys I want this to be really raw and be what I would do if I was starting an online business
business from scratch. So step number one, guys, is reverse engineer success. So what I mean is I would look around me and see what is already working in the niches that I'm interested in pursuing, right? I'd go out there and find people that are recording YouTube videos. I would go out there and find people that are selling products and services in the niche markets that I wanted to be in and find those big communities, those big gurus, those big experts that are already doing the type of things that I want to do, the type of products that I want to sell, the type of content that I want to create. Because I would want to find out what is already working so I can use that to build my ideas and have a proven concept of what I'm trying to do. Now the next very important step is I would commit, and let me say it again, I would commit to putting out helpful, free content for my niche market every single week. So this means I would commit to releasing at minimum two, but hopefully three pieces of content for my niche market that was super helpful, super valuable, and didn't hold nothing back. I would be giving it all away for free as much as I could, the best I could, because I know that I'm gonna hammer away at that stone every single day to build up a big audience. Now, I would do this on the platform that I prefer. Now, me personally, I like shooting videos. This is fun for me. This is something I like to do. So that is where I would put my free content. So I'd probably put it on YouTube or do Facebook Live videos, something like that. Now, some of you, you may prefer to write like blog posts or put together PDFs or books, whatever you want to do, but you got to find the medium that works for you. Others, they might like podcasts, just recording audio. Maybe they like recording content like this, but they don't like being on video. And that's where podcasts would come in. But you got to have a platform that you can put out content every single week, commit to it and start building an audience up. Now, the next step would be putting together a simple, basic website. Nothing fancy, guys. You don't got to go out there and hire someone and pay them thousands of dollars to build you a website, get you a simple WordPress website started, which means you're going to have to get you a domain name from GoDaddy.com or something like that. Get you a little hosting package and install WordPress on it, install a basic theme and get it going. Now, in the beginning, I would recommend just starting your brand around your name, right? Everybody wants to spend months coming up with this cool brand name. And I do it all the time too. When I start a new business, I want to come up with a brand and a logo and colors and do all this fun stuff. And I spend so much time that I could have spent just creating good content and building an audience and creating products and making money, right? So in the beginning, just start with your name. And if you can't get your name as your domain name, then add something like official William Fletcher com or something along those lines that you have a version of your name as your website. So when I started this channel, I almost got marketing with Fletch.com, a variation of my name and my niche. So it doesn't matter, but come up with something that will get you going and start with your name first as your brand. Now, one of the things I want to mention to you guys is the steps I'm sharing here with you aren't linear, meaning that it goes from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. You're going to be building these things out as you go. You know, for example, I just told you about creating your website. That doesn't mean you stop creating your content. That means you continue creating your content and you add in additional work to build your website as you go. Each piece that we add along this is an additional step that you add into building your long-term online business. Okay, so now we have our website up, we're ready to go. Now we want to install WordPress on it, like I said, and add a blog function to it. And the reason that we're adding this blog function to it is now we want to add a home for all that awesome content that we're creating. Sure, it's going to be on YouTube or iTunes podcast or wherever else that you're posting your content like Facebook, but you should also post it on your website because that is your home on the web. That is where people are going to come find you. And when they get there, they can access all of that awesome content that you're putting out for free. Those two to three pieces of content that you're releasing every single week and here in a couple months they would have all of that content to access right on your website now the next thing I would do is I would take all that research I did on the front end to find all those products and what 
other people are doing and I would come up with a product idea of my own. So if I found some really popular products in my niche, I would build something similar to what they're already selling, but I would do my best to make it better or more enticing than what is already out there. And once I had the concept or the idea, I would break that up into the five or 10 main steps that it would take to teach somebody that. And those would become the modules for my course that I'm going to be selling to my customers that I'm building the audience up for on a platform like YouTube. So once I have all those steps listed out, whether it's five or 10, I would commit the next five weeks or the next 10 weeks or the next eight weeks, however many modules I had. And every single week I would record one module for that course. Now you could do it at a more accelerated rate, but that also means that you can't stop creating your free content. You got to keep building your website and all that other kind of stuff. So you can take the accelerated route, but at minimum, I would say record one module every single week until you had all five or all 10 modules created for your online course that you're going to sell to your new customers. Now, in addition to the training that I would record each week for that course, I would also create one simple tool that goes with it, whether that's a template or a cheat sheet or a simple summary PDF of what I taught in that week's lesson because it's just going to add more value to the online course that you're going to sell from this. Now, once I had it all recorded, I would create a course dashboard page on my website. It'd be a simple one page. It would have the title of the course at the top. It would have the module name of the course below it. And then beneath that, it would have the video that I recorded or the audio that I recorded or the PDF that I created my course content in. And I would list out every single module title, the, add the content there. And once I'm all done, I got all five or all 10 modules there, I would have a full course that is ready to sell on my website. Now, once I have all that together, I would create a simple, simple, and let me say it again, simple sales page to sell that new online course. And you can use my simple sales page formula, which is essentially a headline at the top that it says, what your course is or what problem it solves. Next, it would list out each module and below each module, it would have a set of bullet points saying what they're gonna learn from that specific module. Once that I have that there, I'd have a powerful CTA at the bottom and a buy button just below that. And a CTA, guys, is a call to action. So I'll actually hop into my computer here and show you what all this looks like. All right, guys, so we are now inside my computer. I got a simple document pulled up here to show you what this would look like. So um, we're just gonna make up an example course here. We're gonna call it Plumbing These Secrets. All right, so pretend this is a website page. I'm gonna pull that, put it in the center, take this down, move this over to the center. And this is what your course dashboard page would look like. Let's make that bigger. And then I would just have all my modules listed. So module one, how to set up your social media accounts. All right. So then I would have the lesson itself. So this could be a video that I embed from YouTube or it could be my audio file or it could be a PDF, however you're doing it. And this right here would be the little cheat sheet or additional tool that I have. And that would just be a little link that takes them to the PDF file. And I would repeat those steps for every single module here. And that would be my course dashboard page. Now, the next thing I would do is create the simple sales page. So I'll do a quick example for you here. I got my little outline that I shared with you guys. So the headline, the modules with bullet points, the powerful CTA and buy button. So I'll do my headline here. So I'll do attention plumbers. Oops. 
moves. We'll italicize that, center that. All right, and now we'll put in our headline. So I'm gonna turn off that. I'm gonna change the font just to make it look like a real sales page here. So attention plumbers, here's how to get a steady flow of new leads from free posts on social media. And let's see, so let's do this, and let's make it a lot bigger. So guys, you got to imagine this would be your actual website, and we'll put in just one thing here. So, get it all now in the Leads for Plumbers course. Here's what you'll get. Module one, how to optimize your social media pages for needs. And now we'll break it down into some bullet points. The number one thing you must do to all of your social media accounts to get leads. And you want to make these enticing, guys. Best way to get people to view your social media profile. And you would just work through this and list out bullet points for each one of your modules. Okay, so I won't do that for each one, but you can imagine next I would list module two and I would come up with three to five bullet points for it and do the same thing for modules three, four, five, all the way up to 10 if I have 10 modules in my course. And then here at the bottom, I would do my powerful CTA, which would be something like get the leads for plumbers course now purchase $297 I can hold that center that and I would put in my buy button just below that so that people can buy the course and get access to that dashboard page that we previously created. Now the next thing I would do guys is I would go back to all those videos that I've already created or all those pieces of content I've already created and I would create a simple link that goes to the sales page of my course. So now I have all these links out there promoting the course that I just put up for sale. So guys, I want you to think about this. At the end of three months, what would all this look like? What would, what would my online business look like after three short months of doing exactly what I taught you in this video? Well, I would have 36 videos if I did three a week targeting people that are directly interested in the topic of the course that I'm now selling and have created. I would have a website set up with a blog on it and all that content also posted on my website. Imagine guys, people being able to come to your website and have 36 different blog posts or pieces of content that you put together that is extremely valuable and extremely helpful to your audience. I would have a course for sale on my website that people can buy. And here's where it gets even more exciting, guys. I would have 72 links actively promoting the sale of my course. So not only would I have the 36 links over on YouTube or iTunes or whatever platform I'm using to promote my course, Course, but I would also have those same links on every blog post or piece of content that I post on my website. So if I took all those videos that I created and also put them on my website, I would now have 72 links that are out there promoting my brand new online course. Pretty freaking powerful. So guys, let me ask you, are you willing to commit the next three months to building an online business like this? Imagine how your life would be different 
if you took the next three months to commit to doing exactly what I taught you in this video. And guys, if you have any questions, post your questions down below. I'd love to answer your questions and help you out. In the meantime, guys, hit that subscribe button and watch out for more videos just like this.